Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm enjoying a little bit of solitude um, at this park, and it seems to be a busy place for a lot of families today. Um, one of the things I was really reflecting on earlier this morning um, is just that, you know, like, God our Father loves us so much, and all he wants to do is, like, bless on us and love us and give us his attention. And um, if we are understanding what that means, and if we are understanding how God works, then we get to receive that communion, the blessings, the communication, the direct communication with him. And again, this is done through the cross. And it's just, you know, it's so sad um, when I see people that are just in such a struggle. Um, you know, this morning I went to um, an Al-Anon meeting and I hear of people with just incredible broken stories um, and how they're just completely lost. They have no rudder, they have no anchor, they have no understanding of who God is because they're just, you know, praying to a generic higher power. And it's sad because they don't have to have all that anxiety and worry. They don't have to have all that, you know, doom and gloom. They don't have to be stuck in a spin of like, you know, just stuck because, you know, God has a way and he created a way through his son. And when we believe, then we have that ability to, we have that ability to, receive all of the wonderful blessings that God has in store for us and we can we can do that when we're abiding and when we're in alignment and um, you know when I, when I look at other people that are just going through a really you know challenging and difficult broken time it, it doesn't have to be like that and I'm not saying that we are not without struggle and that we don't have obstacles that crop up we do um, the difference is those of us who believe and believe in a real higher power, the God of Israel and his son Jesus at the cross, we really are under the true blessings because we understand that. And those of us who are not understanding that, they're, you know, they, they are under extreme additional difficulties because they refuse to believe, because they haven't been introduced to it but mostly because they refuse to believe because they reject the God the true God of Israel um, many people are like just frustrated with their past experience of quote religion but they're not getting that it's a personal relationship with with the Lord and when you have a personal relationship then all things are possible um, but you need to have that personal relationship and just talking to a higher power like hey my tennis shoe is my higher power you know it's you know a tennis shoe doesn't have any significance it's just like a fake idol um but a real true god has proof and you know the bible is living alive words that have meaning and when you apply them um they really can have significance over your life. So my prayer today is that you investigate the possibility of being with a real true God, the God of Israel, through his son Jesus at the cross for the total atonement of all sin. And that if you do have an addiction or a problem or someone in your family does, that you really pray to that God. Um, Jesus the Lord the real true king of all kings and let him heal you and heal your family and bring you into blessings of protection because you're understanding who God is um, so that's my prayer for today and I hope that you enjoy your beautiful day and that you abide 
in who God is. Have a good day, everybody.